can be in need. Books to read, so donate now. Feel good indeed. We're the Cans for Kids Foundation. Our goal is to foster a love of reading and children by expanding their access to books in and out of school. By raising books and bringing them to kids who need them, we help to spread literacy in our community. Every child deserves to hold a book in their hands. Just one can make a difference. Along with giving books, there are many ways to get involved and help our cause. Donating is as simple as the click of a button. Visit our website, ksforkids.org, to learn more about us today. Well, you heard it. Helping kids love to read is the number one goal of the K is for Kids Foundation. K is also for Karen. Karen Clausen is the founder and executive director of K is for Kids. She's here to tell us a little bit more about what they do and how you can help. Help is needed. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Carly. So tell me a little bit about uh, K is for Kids. How did it get started? Why did you want to get involved with this? Well, I was volunteering my children's school and in the library, and I noticed that every day in Collier County, the children uh, throughout Collier County and the schools get to come to the library almost every single day, visit their school library, and they're always told, go check out a book, and they're combing the shelves looking for that next great book to read. And oftentimes, they, you know, we don't want them to go away empty-handed, or they might just settle on the book. There is such a vast need for books, and not just in the school libraries. There's a huge knowledge gap that exists. It's ever-widening. Some children will never own a book. It's hard to imagine that, isn't mm. it? Never own a book or have one to read at home, but they can check one out from a school library mm -hmm. or perhaps a library at like a Boys and Girls Club after-school program, a daycare center, a community center. There's just so many places we can put books into children's hands. Yes, there is. And uh, let's go ahead. February is a big month. You have a big event coming uh, or been lasting all month. Tell us about what this is. Well, it's called Bring a Book, Bring a Friend for Children's Literacy. It was proclaimed by the Naples Mayor Bill Burnett and also the Governor recently, Rick Scott. He also proclaimed it for us, the Collier County Commissioners. It seems to be growing. It's a simple concept. Every time that you have a gathering, it could be at work with friends, you have a party, bring a book for a child and donate it to a school library, to KS for Kids. We'll make sure it gets to those children who need it most. So Bring a Book, Bring a Friend for Children's Literacy Month started out as one luncheon for Laura Lowe Elementary School in 2002-2003 and went on for about four years. Other schools started asking, can you do one for us? So we just launched it for everyone throughout Collier County. That's so the amazing. whole month, yeah, people can donate one book. Where are some of these drop-off locations? How can people, because that's what a lot of people say, okay, I can help, what do I need to do? Yeah, go to any Starbucks. They have baskets set up. Mm -hmm. and also, if you like to go to the theater at uh, Silver Spot Cinema at the Mercado, um, you can take and drop off books there. They'll give you a free popcorn, too. Are you looking for used or used? What are you... Well, we want everyone to feel good about donating. Even children can bring in, dust off you know, a book and bring mm -hmm. in a gently used book so that another child can share it. But the new hardcovers, they will last the longest because if you put them in a, in a shelf on a library, they'll last four to seven years. So think about it. One book can benefit many children over many years when you put it in a library, a shared reading Is that the end result where they're going is to the libraries, all these donated books? Yes, shared reading environments, wherever they raise their hand and say, our children need more books. It could be a community center, wherever there's a shared reading environment. As a matter of fact, the Farm Workers Village in Immokalee, mm -hmm. they don't even have any bookshelves for children. So we hope to do that for them as well, to make them accessible to children. So it goes first into a shared reading environment where one book might be read by dozens or even a hundred children. So we maximize who gets to read that book. One book, 100 readers, Pretty smart, right? Yes, I love it. We're looking at pictures of past events and kids uh, enjoying reading. So much fun. I want to show something else right here because you also, um, you're asking people to donate money, correct? Yes, yes. That helps us buy new books. So sure. $100 is a, a fantastic donation and you get this spectacular book. Tell me about this book and why this is so special here for our community. Well, this was our first Young Authors Project, and children are invited to, opening yeah, to one of our literacy events, as you saw the photos, and we say, hey, write a book together. We introduce them to a guest author, and then they become young authors themselves. They write a book together. We give them a couple of ideas, or prompts, as teachers call it, about what they can write about. This book is called, this was our first one, called Wishes, Dreams, Gifts, and Things. And so you can see short, very short little stories. Some of the children write two or three pages. And some of them children, the though, are here in our community. Yes, yes, throughout Collier, Collier County. And some of the children are passing through, and they see our event, and they come over. The parents can get in the picture. The mayor has written a four. He has eight grandchildren. He knows how important mm -hmm. it is to keep these kids reading. It's a great yeah. event. It's very exciting. 
And you actually, a photographer, helped take all these pictures. Yes, yes, that was Karen Walsh held, and this year it's Lane Wilkinson. Yep. All right, well, once again, tell people um, how important it is that just one book can really make a difference in these young kids' lives. It so, definitely can. Yeah, you know, they, it, you, you know, they don't often have a car to go to a library, but they're all going to school. Mm -hmm. And so they can all visit their school library, and you can open up new worlds for them. Yep. All right. Well, K is for kids. You have the website where all those drop-off locations yes. are as yes. well. Mm -hmm. So because there are a lot of them. All right. Karen, yep. thank you so thank much. Thank you, Carly. It was a pleasure being here. All right. Let's send it to Bill. Hey, when we come back on the Monday Morning Blend, balance in a bracelet, in this bracelet. In fact, when the blend comes back, you'll see how it works.